Does walking burn more fat than something like running? I've seen a lot of videos on this topic. I wanted to weigh in myself, discuss some of the science, and maybe a few ways that we can apply this if someone's trying to lose weight. So let's get right into it. Hey everyone, thanks for clicking on the video. This is Science Based Fitness, where I drop weekly content on fitness related topics, all sorts of things. If you are not subscribed, click the subscribe button and stay up to date on my weekly videos. So does walking burn more fat than things like running? Now this might seem counterintuitive, but yes, you're actually burning more fat when walking versus running. And I'm gonna break down some of the science here. Now you don't wanna just run away because there's a few levels to this. And just like most things in science, there's not a straightforward answer. There's some nuance to this and we're gonna break that down. I wanna start out by explaining the respiratory exchange ratio or RIR for short. So while we are exercising, we exhale specific amounts of carbon dioxide and specific amounts of oxygen. In a proper lab setting, if we had the right instruments, we could actually calculate the percentage of each substrate we are using for energy. While we are doing less physically demanding tasks or exercises, we will have larger percentages of fat utilization by the body as energy. The opposite can also be said when doing very physically demanding tasks or exercises, we would have a large utilization of carbohydrates. So what does this basically mean? Well, while we are walking, we are gonna be using more fat as energy, and while we are running, we're gonna be using larger amounts of carbohydrates for energy. Now, most scenarios, it's a little bit gray where there's not 100% carbohydrates or 100% fat utilization. It's usually a gray area with mixed percentages, but to break that down completely, we would have to go through the respiratory exchange ratio formula and do some math, so we're gonna skip through that. What I'm trying to do here is help you understand the concept. Now, if someone's trying to lose weight, does that mean that the best way for them to lose weight is to go on walks? Well, no, not necessarily. If someone's trying to lose weight, the number one thing you should be focusing on is calorie deficits. I wanna look at an example here, and to make the math simple, let's say your daily calorie expenditure, not including your exercise, is 2,000 calories in a day. That day, you consumed 2,000 calories exactly. That would mean there's no change in weight. But let's say we decided to mix in 30 minutes of cardio at three miles per hour, just simply walking. We would burn roughly 125 calories in that 30 minutes. But if we increased our speed to four miles per hour, in that 30 minute time frame, we would burn roughly 175 calories, an additional 50 calories. Now let me ask this question, who would lose the greater amount of weight over a month? The group using the higher intensity simply because over that month time frame, they had a greater calorie deficit. And that is one of the number one drivers in weight loss and what I tell clients to be most conscious of when they're trying to lose weight. So what's the main takeaway here? So the statement that walking burns more fat is a true statement, but it's not always the best way to apply this to your actual training. If you're someone that's looking to lose weight, focusing on having a calorie deficit is gonna be the main driver behind your weight loss. Although that doesn't mean you shouldn't be mixing and walking, it's a great way to stay active and to stay on your feet, move around, burn excess calories, and burn excess fat. Unfortunately, this is not an exercise hack that you stumbled across. Walking isn't gonna be some secret formula to losing weight. If you are someone looking to reduce your body fat percentage or just lose weight overall, then the main driver behind that is gonna be remaining in a calorie deficit. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for checking out the video. I appreciate the support. Click like and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all my future content and have a beautiful day.